5 million Americans are currently living with Alzheimer's. 5 million with an enormous, enormous amount of concern for family members about keeping their loved ones safe throughout the illness. Now, we told you before about a high-tech microchip that could be implanted in the arm. Uh, critical medical details could be accessed, and people wonder if eventually this could lead to tracking the people. Well, it isn't without controversy, and ABC's John Berman is here to tell us that people are now ready and lining up. Yeah, that's right, Diane. Good morning. One of the greatest fears for those caring for someone with Alzheimer's is that their loved one will get lost, show up at a hospital, and no one will know who they are or what's wrong with them. And we have reported on this tiny new microchip that might be able to help. Well, now for this first time with great, great controversy, patients are lining up to get them. You're going to feel a little pinch. David and Ida Frankel have been married an amazing 73 years. Yeah. Can I hold her hand? Yeah. I've been holding it for 73 years. Seven years ago, Ida became one of four and a half million Americans diagnosed with Alzheimer's. She was uh, being very forgetful. She would ask the time all and repeat the questions over and over again. Which is why Ida is one of the first patients at this Alzheimer's Center in Florida to be implanted with a microchip. When an Alzheimer patient presents in an emergency room or is found wandering in a certain location, once their arm is scanned, it would immediately designate who they are, their identity, and the fact that they are an Alzheimer patient. The VeraChip is the size of a grain of rice. It has a 16-digit identification number, which gets scanned at a hospital. When the number is put into a database, it can provide crucial medical information. If you get lost, we can find you, and also if you ever have any medical problems, we'll be able to get some information about you. Okay. It's the latest type of high-tech gear used to care for the elderly, like these motion sensors, watching Bill Bailey's 90-year-old father, Al. It's almost a little like Big Brother, but when you think of it, it's really useful to be able to see how someone is uh, getting along and gather that sort of information. It's the same technology used to track wayward pets, and privacy groups say it strips Alzheimer's patients of their human dignity. I don't think that because it's useful in animals is a reason why we should do it to, to human beings. I mean, there is a distinction between an animal and a human being. But David Frankel doesn't see it that way. I don't think there's anything to worry about. And he decided to get the chip, too. Now, 34 patients and caregivers got the chip yesterday. Dozens more will get it in the next week. Now, the makers of the chip say it's important to note this is not a GPS. The patient's can't be tracked. It just provides a code for a database, but privacy rights activists say this is a first step toward tracking them, Diane. That's what the issue has been uh, as people debated it. Well, it's really interesting to see how many people thought this is not a question. I'm going to go ahead and do it even in the very beginning. Thanks, John.